So it's starting to get into July. And with that comes the warm, wet days of summer. And I've been having to run the air conditioning quite a bit at events. And also um, with uh, when I have to leave the animals in the pod for, you know, overnight or, um, you know, uh, for whatever need be. You know, I need to run the air conditioning. And I've noticed that, yes, it's cooling. Not as well as I would have thought it should for the size of the pod, which is, you know, really small. But also, the inside of the pod has been getting very high humidity readings on my um, thermo hygrometer. So, I decided to look into the air conditioner a little bit deeper. So, what I did is I pulled the floor out of the cabinet to get to the top of the air conditioner. And here it is. And I found um, that in this area, normally, you see this material here, it's just old fiberglass probably leftovers when they were building these vehicles in the 90s. Um, it was a, a piece of uh, duct. Is basically, this is a ducted air conditioner so that the, um, the heat, the heated air, or not heated air, but the uh, heat from the inside of the vehicle um, via the heat exchanger inside the air conditioner, it blows the heat outside through that vent. Also, the moisture would go out with that hot, that warmed air. Um, and then the cool air, you know, comes into the inside of the vehicle. Well, the problem was, it seems anyway, I mean, this is my hypothesis. Um, for one, you know, when air conditioners operate, they typically, you know, the way they work, it's a heat exchanger. So it's pulling the moisture out of the air, which therefore cools the air, it conditions the air. Well, that moisture has to go somewhere. So in a traditional system, it would drip through a drain tube out of the bottom of the vehicle uh, into the outside world. Well, this casita has no drain tube. There is no water dripping out anywhere that I could find. So I started looking everywhere around on the inside here and I could not find, I thought, you know, I thought for sure it was leaking into this compartment and everything was getting soaking wet. Um, but I found no evidence of that. There is a little bit of water here. You can see that's because when I just recently, about an hour ago, I moved the casita up to the porch where it's sitting now. And some of the water that I found in the air conditioner, you, can, you might be able to see it down in there, pooling down in the bottom. It was just pooling down there and it was uh, not, you know, exiting to the outside world. So my hypothesis is that the condensate drain hole is plugged with debris. So I, um, I could not find any way to get to that drain hole. So the next step is to pull the air conditioner out and investigate further. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. But what I've already decided to do is replace this air conditioning unit. Um, it's old, 1995 model, I believe. I'm not 100% sure of that, but it is an older unit. And I can get a much better unit, same size, uh, lower energy use, energy star, just like this one is, lower energy use, higher sear rating, and um, it will also be uh, Wi-Fi connected so that I can control it from a distance. I can check the temperature if, say, the pod is parked at one location and I'm at another, and there's animals in the pod, I need to check and verify that the air conditioner is running, that everything's working, and it will also send me a notification if something goes wrong. And that is peace of mind, so that I know that my animals are safe. So let's take this thing out and take a closer look at it. So, there has been a little leakage. I don't know if you can see this water here. 
over in here. Very damp. I'm going to have to replace that piece of wood. Because I don't want any mold growing in this compartment. That'd be gross. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's get this old air conditioner out of here. And take a look at it. So there it is. Let's flip it over and see. Yeah, there is a lot of condensate pouring out of it. And there, that's the condensate drain hole. Notice there is no plug in it. And that happens to be where water was leaking. This had absolutely no way for water to be diverted away from leaking onto that wood. That is just not a good design. So, yeah, apparently it has been leaking onto this. And because this is this uh, pressed wood, fiber, bo fiber board, whatever you want to call it, um, it's just been soaking it up and molding. Gross. So, I am definitely going to replace that. And as well as that ductwork up there that needs to be replaced as well, or at least um, retrofitted a little bit with some better materials so that it vents the hot air outside and not up into the cabinet, into the, into the closet. I, I believe that's what was happening here. Is uh, There's normally a, a piece here as well. But um, before I took this apart, um, there was a gap between the air conditioner and the ductwork. So hot, moist, you know, hot, yeah, hot, moist air was blowing up to the floor. There's a floor here normally, and it was coming up to the floor, and there were some gaps over here where the pipes came through. And so that warm, moist air was coming up into the closet. And of course, since this door does not fit tightly not you know it's not sealed there's a gap around here as well as up here there's space and this door doesn't fit tightly this is a space here so warm moist air was leaking into the compartment into the pod and that is why i was getting a warm moist um, environment even with the air conditioning running now the new air conditioner is going to have a built-in dehumidifier so that's going to help a lot but yeah this may solve a lot of my issues here, hopefully. Now I gotta get to work on getting this updated. Okay, so I pulled the air conditioner support out of the air conditioner cabinet, and look what I found. There's actually carpet in the bottom of this thing. Why? Why would you put carpet under an air conditioner where it could get dripped on and rot? and mold. Gross. That is where the smell is coming from. Yeah. So, kind of a musty smell. And actually, this is the only part that's wet over here. This is all dry, but you can see that it has been wet. Be it from the air conditioner's condensation dripping on it, or just water blowing in while driving down the street, right? In a, snow, in a rainstorm. So, yeah, yuck. And here we have power coming to the air conditioner outlet. And this is the one I installed re more recently that goes up to that outlet on the front of the vehicle. But when I installed that, I really couldn't see what was going on in here because there was an air conditioner in the way. This is the lights, uh, the power, or the light, power wires to the uh, marker light here on the side. I'm going to remove all this carpet. There is no point in having carpet in here. That's just gross. It's like they put the carpet in, probably the whole thing was carpeted, put the carpet in and then cut notches for these two vent holes. Weird. Now there's carpet over here too. No point in having carpet over there. I'm going to strip that out as well. And leaving the carpet in here seems like it would make sense for insulation purposes, but then when you think about it, getting moldy and gross because of the damp, dampness factor of the air conditioning running right above it all the time, there's really no point in having it in here. So I'm going to remove all this carpet. Yeah, that's just nasty. It's been wet for years and then just gross. Look at that. That's wood under there. Well, it was wood under there. Rotten now. 
Okay, another job to do. Oh, whoa, look at that. This is actually gonna be a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, rotten wood. No wood needs to be under here. Oh, this is so easy.
So the new air conditioner is installed. As you saw, I had to MacGyver it quite a bit. Um, you know, the old one was a different size and shape. This one, same thing, a little bigger, a little wider, a little deeper. So I uh, removed some of the um, original mounting structures. They were pretty rough looking anyway, a little bit rusty. And um, I made this one a little more secure, a little more solid. It's not gonna move around. Also, uh, as you saw, I built the cowl um, out a little better, insulated it better so that the waste heat will go out of the vehicle and not come up into the closet like it was doing, and then filter out into the room, bringing in heat and moisture. Interesting thing about this uh, modern air conditioner is it has no drain hole. First I thought, whoa, what's that? I've never seen an air conditioner, a window unit air conditioner, or any air conditioner without a, a condensate removal point. Um, but this one doesn't have one. I did some research and it turns out that modern air conditioners don't often have them. What they do is the, uh, they basically sling the condensate up onto the condenser. That moisture helps to make the air conditioner more efficient. All right, here we go. Let's try it out. So far, so good. Set at 70 degrees, eco mode, auto fan speed, set on cool. Let's see how much power it's using. All right, 531 watts. See there? Hmm, turn off eco mode. Go to fan speed high, and mode is cool. Ooh, wow, turbo boost. Still 500 watts. And actually there's other things, you know, on right now, so it's less than 500 watts, 530 watts. It's probably more like right at 500. Let's drop the temperature down. It is putting out some nice, cool air, I'll tell you that. Well, 65 degrees, right? Okay, so it looks like it works great. I am very pleased. Um, we're still only pulling about 500 watts. Uh, that's just, that's amazing. The old air conditioner would pull around 6 to 650, if I remember right. And this is a uh, 8,000 BTU unit. The old one, I believe, was 6,000. So not only have we increased our BTUs, but we've also lowered our energy use. Well, at least for now. This thing might kick into some other mode in a minute, you know, and might go upwards of 1,000 watts or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's quieter than the other unit. That's for one thing. It's definitely quieter. That's nice. So I can control this air conditioner via Wi-Fi. Look at that. It's telling me it's set at 65. Why don't we raise the temperature? Ah, ah, look at that, look at that. Technology is cool, isn't it? All right, I can set the timer. I don't need a timer though. Function, eco or sleep fan. Let's go to medium. Whoa. Mode. I've got auto mode, cool mode, heat mode, dry mode, and fan mode. I don't believe this unit has heat. It did not say anything about heat. I'm not going to mess with that right now because it's summer. Don't need it. And I think it's just actually there in case your unit does have heat. Very cool. I'm not gonna turn it off. I could by hitting that button, but I'm not going to because I wanna let it run for a while, give it a thorough test. Then I'll come back and uh, tell you how things are doing. Wow, that feels great. Nice, cool, dry air. As I said before, this unit doesn't have a drain. I really hope it doesn't leak. <laughs> that would be worrisome because after all the work I did, I'd have to go back in there and put a drain hole of some kind in it, and that would be no fun. 
but it claimed it didn't need one. Um, let's see what the temperature in the pot is right now. Where'd it go? There it is. I uh, have several different ways of checking the temperature and the humidity. Let's check the weather station. The indoor temperature, or the outdoor temperature is, it says 72.7. Uh, da -da, humidity outside 97 PM 2.5 is 12 that's excellent air quality indoor temperature 71.6 indoor humidity 93 wow okay but anyway give it a couple of hours and come back and take a look so hey it's working excellent back it's been about two hours air conditioner has been chugging away I've headed on eco mode so it's uh, cycling on and off as needed the inside of the pod is definitely cooler um, it feels so much better it's cooler and drier this thing's great it's working very well I'm almost finished with all of the um, installation there's a couple of things I have to do outside um, you know a couple of ports I have to put back on the ventilation ports so I would say that this has been a great success the installation of this air conditioner and of course oh ouch that hurt <laughs> floor of the closets back in place you know like I said earlier there's a couple little things we have to do the trim piece goes around here I have a feeling Jim Hardy will be able to make me something really nice to go there yeah so after this is finished uh, after this installation is complete, the only things left to do on the uh, SS NASA pod um, would be painting and and using it. Yeah, that's it. Well, in the microscope, I need to install the microscope station. Still don't have that. Ah, oh, and it's cycling down. But anyway, air conditioner is in. Let's go batten down the hatches and we'll be finished with this project. The ventilation plate that goes up underneath and it has a screen I suppose to keep out rodents um, and insects. The other two don't have screens, so I find that to be interesting. Boy, I put my hand up in that vent, or in the vent, but in the area under the air conditioner, um, and there is a serious wind in there. That's good. That'll keep it ventilated and uh, keep it dry. You know, you don't want it getting wet in there. That's what happened last time, and it rotted all the wood. Outside from the uh, pod when I went in there and was speaking about finishing up the air conditioner project um, you know I'd sat in there long enough to where my glasses chilled down and it was also much drier air so when I stepped out of the pod my glasses instantly fogged up that shows you that the air conditioner is working to pull the moisture out of the air of course I'll obviously chill the air but also pulls the moisture out really well and I don't even have it in dry mode I wonder how that works <laughs> We'll find out eventually.
Yep. There we are. Project complete. Now comes the uh, not so fun part of cleaning up the mess. Look at this. So, this was the floor and the walls of the uh, air conditioning compartment. That wood, look at that wood. Well, what's left of it? It's like cardboard, rotten cardboard, essentially. Nasty. Well, I, I, I fixed that problem, didn't I? <laughs> and then here's all the box of all the leftovers. It's just so sad, the amount of packaging we use today. <sighs> I'm going to go through it and recycle what I can. And then we've got all the tools that I need to put up. Over here's the old air conditioner. Well, the air conditioning replacement on the SS NASA pod is complete. And now comes the testing phase. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey, by the way. It's been an interesting, uh, an interesting project for sure. Not just this, but everything. And for those of you that helped make this possible, thank you very much. You are making awesome happen. It's just so cool what we can do if we all work together, isn't it? <laughs>